what's going on guys in today's video very quick short little video i'm going to show you a quick how to remove the window molding on a 2000 not 2000 90 93 to 99 e36 any e36 coupe i believe the sedan's a little bit different but this is how you do it on the coupes enjoy on how to remove this trim piece around the glass uh, you can get a new one on eBay. I believe it's like 120 bucks. But if you're respraying the vehicle, this is you know it's best to take this off and instead of taping it because you'll never get the line correctly. Uh, we're actually going to take the glass out as well. But this piece right here, um, this is what I started doing. This is how it is pretty much on mine. It's all weathered. It's an Arizona vehicle, and um, you can see it's all weathered and everything. So what I do is, um, the best way to do it is, I actually broke the blade here, but you take this, I have a blade like this big, this is what you're here, right, well, let me show you. Um, anyways, yeah, tried to zoom out, didn't work. But anyways, I take the razor blade and I cut this rubber piece that's on the inside I'm trying to get it to focus come on there we go this piece this rubber piece right here i take a razor blade and i just cut it as close to the edge as possible like this uh once you cut it out you'll have enough wiggle room first of all you can start breaking these pieces off because you know it just breaks off like this channel you're not gonna hurt the, wind, the glass, so don't worry about it. But once you clean it up like that, all the way across, you'll have enough room to move this thing over, you know, like, like, like it is right here. See how it's pretty much separated? Over here, it's kind of like bounding up because I needed to cut a little closer. So obviously, the closer you cut to the metal rail, the better. And um, yeah, I cut it up to here. Be careful you don't run on the paint um, if you're not planning to respray, but yeah that's the best way just cut as close as you can to this rubber edge right here not the rubber but this plastic edge cut as close with the razor blade as you can and then start breaking off this plastic trim on the outside uh, to expose the uh, the metal channel which is this right here so and then you'll have enough room to move it over and then up so this one and then they pretty much break they're very brittle so and this is a it's a very common problem on all, on all southern vehicles. Sorry about the noise, but see I started cutting right here. You want to be as close as possible to that edge as possible. And uh, try to cut it out. And then once you have a clean line, you just, you know, take a pick. I use a pick and uh, pick this side up and pull it out. like that. I already cleared this side. So now all you gotta do is just take a take a screwdriver. You grab a screwdriver. Yeah. Just start separating it from the glass. So you got all that room now. But this is gonna be the toughest part because they're glued on the edges. They're glued in three places. Here, actually five places. Here, here, center, that corner, and then on the bottom again. Once you break this piece off right here, this piece, um, you can get in there with a screwdriver and just start lifting it around the corner. That's the easiest way. So far, I haven't found an easier way to do it. So, but this will guarantee you ruining the piece, so. You're not going to be able to get it out, um, you know, in one piece. So, that's it. That's all of them. Hope this helps.